it's, it's, it's a tremendous honor to be here. The first, the first performance here at the gallery. I'm so honored, and thank you so much, Michelle and Andy, for making it happen. So, um, those of you who aren't familiar with what I do, I have started in 1978. I found a hatchet. <laughs> I saw a hatchet in the basement of my loft in Portland, Oregon. And I've been thinking about the relationship between musical instruments and the body. And for whatever, I picked up the hatchet and I just put it under my chin. I thought, oh, that would be a kind of a cool violin. <laughs> you know, hey man, bring your axe to the jam session. And uh, so I, and I had played the viola as a child. So I drilled a couple holes, put the tuning pegs in, put the tailpiece on the little axe, and it happened to fit perfectly inside a little violin case. <laughs> the curve of the blade perfectly matching. So something magical kind of happened there. But I didn't really give it much thought, but I, and I did play it in performance. So that's how the whole thing started. So I'm using contact microphones to amplify the instruments. And I'm gonna start out with a piece with just one string, kind of an influence of Indian music, uh, in my dreams. This is called Par 12. <laughs> And I am using some pedals here. It's called a looper. Those of you who are, know about that, so I can, I can layer and add sounds and etc. So there's no computers, no laptops. Everything is happening live. Here we go. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
a tennis racket, of course. And so there is a, uh, a practical sensibility to this in the sense that not only is this street found and free, but it's very lightweight and very flat. So actually, all of the instruments that I'm playing tonight fit in one gig bag. It's very convenient. So there's that practical aspect. And of course, um, they are made from found objects. So there's this sustainability and recycling aspect to that So as well. Uh, it's very cost effective. <laughs> and, uh, so the nature of the contact mics is in this case, you'll see there are also all these things. The arrangement is of course ergonomic. I need to be able to get my hands so I can touch them. But also it's an, there's an aesthetic collage. So I'm, I'm battling between function and form there in terms of where the placement of the things is because I need to be able to access them. They have to look good also. And it's all things that are, exist for another purpose. So this piece is called Ice on the Velodrome, which is complicated to explain. It has to do with my first recording. So it's, it's my little, in my dreams, flamenco fantasy. I can't play flamenco, but here we go. <laughs> here we go.
you very much. How's the volume? Is it is it too high? Yeah, because yeah. yeah, oh, it is too high. Okay. No, okay. it's good. No, it's fine. Oh, I think it's fine. It's too high. It's too high. Yeah, I mean, because I'm standing above the amp and it's a new space for me, but I'll I'll turn, I'll crank it a little bit. <laughs> no, no, not loud. No, no. no. <laughs> so here we have a uh, a cane and a tennis racket, and we're going to slow it down a little bit now. And on this piece, I'm going to play an instrument that's in my pocket here, invented by my friend Stan Wood in Portland, Oregon. No, no longer with us. It's called a vibra band. So. I'm going to slow it down. This is called serving a site.
my horrible, horrible play on words. Because it, it, it's basically a piece of dental dam, and it, it of course, resembles uh, a condom, uh, as well as, let's say, a soprano sax, trumpet, more like timbre, but let's say a soprano sax for the sake of this terrible joke. So you could call it a safe sax. Thank you very much! <laughs> neck from a, a, a baritone ukulele, and a beach paddle, and a cane. And I'm going to play a tune on this that's in the time signature of seven. But those musicians in the crowd, please don't expect me to know where the one is <laughs> all the time. Okay, so I'm going to play around with four over seven a little bit and mess around with the rhythmic feel. And this is called Net of Gems. Thank you. 
instrument for this evening. <laughs> actually, there's a, actually, this is the last one. I'm gonna, there's a couple of little surprises left. Um, anyway, thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate everybody, and especially to Michelle and Andy here at the T-Board and us. I'm so honored to be the first musical performance here. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> <laughs> <It's awesome. laughs> So this is actually a broom guitar that I made in 1981. And I've added a few things to it since then, and we're going to improvise our way through a kind of a funky feel with a little bit of $1.99 music boxes. I can't believe you can buy one of those for $1.99. So I bought a few. Here we go. I forget what this is called. Here we go.
Thank you very much. Thank you.